Welcome, bienvenido. We're going to make an announcement for our Spanish speakers who wish to have translation into Spanish. Hola, es un placer para mí presentarles a Eric Tapia, quien ofrecerá, la, ofrecerá orientaciones a quienes desean participar en español. Muy buenos días con todos. Para nuestros invitados que hablan español, agradecemos profundamente su presencia y por estar con nosotros el día de hoy. Si desean tener una traducción en vivo en español de nuestra presentación, nuestros traductores Vicente y Tomás estarán brindando instrucciones para habilitar funciones en Zoom. Nuevamente, muchas gracias por estar aquí y por su atención. Gracias. Thanks so much, Eric. Um, so welcome to the 2024 launch of the Green Team's internship program. I'm Amy Tuninga, the director of the PSEG Institute for Sustainability Studies here at Montclair State University, and I'm excited you are all here joining us today. This is our introduction to the summer 2024 Green Team interns and the big reveal of the projects that they're going to work on during this summer. If you'd like to connect with us or engage with us on social media during the event or after, you can use these hashtags, 2024 Green Teams, GT Launch 2024, and the handles below, along with more links using the QR code for our link tree. And if you haven't used that before, just hold up your, for people my age and older, <laughs> hold up your phone and automatically all these amazing links will appear. Um, and now I'd like to introduce Emma Nunez Perez, our assistant director, who's going to read our land acknowledgement statement. Good morning, everyone. We respectfully acknowledge that Montclair State University occupies land in Lenape Hoking, the traditional and expropriated territory of the Lenape. As a state institution, we recognize and support the sovereignty of New Jersey's three state recognized tribes the Ramapo Lenape, Nanticoke Lene Lenape, and Powhatan Renape Nations. We recognize the sovereign nations of the Lenape diaspora elsewhere in North America as well as other indigenous individuals and communities now residing in New Jersey. By offering this land acknowledgement, we commit to addressing the historical legacies of indigenous dispossession and dismantling practice of erasure that persists today. We recognize the resilience and persistence of the contemporary indigenous communities in their role in educating all of us about justice, equity, and the stewardship of land throughout generations. Thank you. We've also been working for some time um, developing our principles for the Institute, and I'd like to share them with you now. The PSEG Institute for Sustainability Studies advances local and global sustainability, including overcoming environmental and climate-related issues. The Institute provides access to education and careers related to these fields and guides all individuals in their pursuit of sustainable access to and use of environmental resources. We promote a work environment that is fully inclusive anti-racist, and supportive of all peoples working with and for the PSEG Institute for Sustainability Studies. We support our students in all of their work, identities, values, and beliefs. The PSEG Institute for Sustainability has no tolerance for hate or violence. And so I just want to give you a couple, um, a little bit of information on what to expect today. Um, we're going to hear from some really thought-provoking speakers. You're going to get to meet the students and hear about the projects they're going to work on this summer. Um, and uh, we'll have lunch at the end, and um, the students will get a chance to meet with their hosting organization representatives. But I also want to give you a little sense of how strong this 2024 cohort is. So, so far, they've only been here two days, but they've already learned about food systems, ecosystems. Um, they've learned about toilets and fire and hope. <laughs> um, but yesterday they were um, trained by one of our um, professors from the business school, Dr. T. Wu, and um, he had them work on a design project. And this was an aircraft design project. And um, so I get excited about my own, how robust my air aircraft design skills are. And um, the goal was to take a single sheet of paper and get it as far as you could across the room. Um, so 
one of our teams led by Olivia Delgado um, and her team who are not her green team, but other team members working with her, took <laughs> their aircraft and crumpled it up in a ball and threw it, <laughs> and they won. <laughs> so that's the kind of out-of-the-box thinking that um, you've got coming this summer. So I, I encourage you to engage with the students and, and learn from them and, and ask a lot of them. But right now, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the president of Montclair State University, Dr. Jonathan Kopal. See, that's the kind of airplane you get if you don't define the terms of the competition. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to fly on that airplane. So good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you, Amy. It's great, it's great to be here. This is really... Um, one of my favorite things to come to. It's actually, when I started at Montclair, it was like, I think the first event I came to was uh, the green teams competition and it made me know that I'm in the right, the right place for a couple of different reasons. And it's why I think it's so great that you're participating in this. So I really believe in Montclair State University as a public university. Um, and what people sometimes mean by a public university is it gets some of its budget from the state. I think that's wrong. Uh, a public university is a university that exists to serve the public interest, right? That that's why we're here, is to do something that advances the communities around us and takes on the most challenging problems we have as a community, and that includes the world, like one big community. And that's what this is about. It's saying, look, we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing if we're not taking on the biggest challenges. Um, I think for all of the problems in the world today that you guys are going to go out and fix in the years ahead, nothing is more important than dealing with the planet uh, and making it a better place for us to live. I often repeat something that was told to me uh, many years ago, which really resonated, that when people talk about saving the planet, um, they're missing the point. The planet's going to be here. The question is whether it'll be fit for human survival. Right? So there might just be a rock floating around the sun that's completely in, in, uh, in, in, unhospitable to human life. By the way, there will still be roaches and rats, I'm convinced of that, no matter what we do. But will there be humans? That's a, that's a different question. And so one of the things that's important to me as a public-serving university is that Montclair State University is addressing uh, issues around the planet, and we're really trying to, we're really trying to amplify our efforts on sustainability and we have I think impressive um, impressive work in three core areas right so first of all people think of sustainability as being about the environment which of course it is but it's also about people and do you have sustainable systems um, that embrace diversity that promote social justice um, yes it's about the planet it's about conservation it's about ecosystem resilience it's about dealing with the risks of climate change it's about reducing our impact uh, as a species um, you can't deal with either of those things if you don't also deal with the ways in which people make money, uh, how you earn profits, how you balance the social responsibility of a company with the, co with the obligations to shareholders, um, how do you govern a planet where you have billions of people competing for the same resources, all of whom want to better their life, all of whom want to be prosperous. Um, what's really cool is that the work that we do in this area uh, is not faculty, uh, in their labs, separate from the teaching mission, it's all about interaction with students. And of course, the Green Teams program uh, is, an, is a direct manifestation of that. And I think it's especially cool that we've got 30 different schools represented here, because uh, this isn't just about Montclair State University, it's about using the university to advance an approach to solving the world's problems. It's about giving all of you students an opportunity to learn. So I want to urge you all to take advantage of this is a unique opportunity to collaborate, to meet people who you otherwise wouldn't meet, to interact and, and be part of a program that's intentional in designing chances for you to be uncomfortable, chances for you to do something that you've never done before, um, and chances to share your own ideas and be creative, as Amy said in the beginning. Let me, let me emphasize one, one of the most important aspects. Um, this is a program that's about solutions. Um, and there's a lot of there's a lot of um, there's a lot of noise in the world today, um, and a lot of people who are eager to be critics. And I make this point uh, again, something that was told to me that really resonated. And I just I just gave this uh, advice to our graduates. Uh, there's a Roman philosopher named Cicero, uh, and he said he said that we should criticize by what we create. 
And I think that there's never been a time when that advice is, is more important because you all, right, walk around with these things, right? They're connect, and it's just everybody snarking on each other and everybody talking about how lame that is and whatever it is, whether it's a new dance or a new idea or just, oh, you're such an idiot, you look like a jerk. This is in your head. Even when it's not in your hand, it's in your head. We're worried about what somebody's going to say if I do the wrong thing, if I say the wrong thing, if I act the wrong way. We have enough of that. Like, we don't need more people being critics. We don't need more people telling everybody else how stupid they are and how that's not going to work. We need people who are going to create solutions. Um, and so what this, what this experience is uh, fundamentally about is how do you solve problems? And you're going to be working with partner organizations, and I want to stop uh, before going any further and say, well, this wouldn't be possible without our partner organizations who are going to host you and give you the opportunity to learn and are not eager to criticize you. They're eager to hear what you have to say. And they're eager to, st they're eager to get new perspectives from students who are bringing, uh, who are bringing different experiences um, to, to the same old problems. This is about, this is about generating answers, not, not finding fault. And that's really important. I, look, this isn't, this isn't in and of itself going to solve the world's problems. None of the, none of the solutions you are going to come up with are going to solve climate change. That, that's not the point. The point is by generating solutions, you're showing, you're showing that all these problems that seem intractable, that seem impossible, that seem hopeless, they all can be solved. They all can be solved. Right? You have to believe that they can be solved and you have to be focused on the solution and not criticizing the people who are trying for what they got wrong. So I'm very excited that you all have this opportunity because I think when you walk away at the end, and I have some experience from talking to your predecessors who have been through this experience, I think you'll be, you'll be revitalized and you'll have a new sense of like, oh, that's why I'm in those classes. That's why I'm taking that incredibly difficult statistics class or whatever because it's going to help me solve problems. So I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for all of you and really proud that this is a program that Montclair State University uh, helps to make happen. And so I, I obviously can't say that without recognizing all of the leaders of the Green Teams program, the PSENG Institute for Sustainability staff, and the many faculty uh, and staff members here at the university who contribute to this, everything from recruiting students, reviewing and interviewing applicants, getting our partnership organizations, designing these opportunities, um, a perfect example of uh, something that takes a village. So best of luck to all of you. I'm very excited to hear the presentations a few short weeks from now uh, when you will all know each other and you'll have jokes about each other and you'll be annoyed by each other, all these strangers who you don't know today, um, but will become, we'll become your friends and colleagues and teammates. So. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you to everyone who's making it possible. Uh, and uh, let's go out and solve some problems. Thank you. All right, so I'm just, um, for those of you who aren't familiar or maybe um, don't know about our latest updates on the Green Teams program, I'm just gonna share just a little bit more about our program before we reveal the big projects. Um, since 2016, the Green Teams program, that's the year it started, um, has engaged 370 interns. Now we have another 50 here today um, from over 90 universities across the country and over 135 different degree programs. Um, and they've partnered with 47 different hosting organizations completing over 290 real world projects. The green teams are teams of undergraduates who address global sustainability challenges, work in local communities, and together with um, global corporations, they're innovative and thoughtful leaders. Our program builds understanding through its diverse and transdisciplinary structure based on teamwork, and the impacts are deep and far-reaching. Each green team consists of five students that represent diverse backgrounds and areas of expertise and are caref carefully matched to achieve, achieve the deliverables requested by this year's hosting organizations. We provide training throughout the program in core sustainability subjects, um, also hands-on experience with sustainability skills, guidance in professional development, communication, and team building. 
As many of you know, the students work, work and, and so we have a, um, a set of hosting organizations here that we've worked with. You might recognize some of them. Um, so they work over a period of 10 weeks in the summer. This year it's 11 weeks because of how the holidays fall. Um, with their hosting organizations to develop and deliver high-level sustainability projects at the end of the program. They present their work in comprehensive written reports to their hosting organizations and give group TED-style presentations to a broad audience. You're all invited to see these presentations August 7th in our Kasser Theater, or, or you can attend virtually. Um, the teams conduct complex analyses, surveys, research, mapping, reporting, and more. Um, and so, um, for, the, for instance, in the upper right is a dashboard created by the 2023 New Jersey Resources Green Team, which identifies and maps major food waste sources and facilities within the New Jersey Natural Gas Service Territory so that they can identify places that would be ideal to um, place food digesters and um, use the energy coming off of the, off of the food decomposition as energy. Um, and the lower right is a map created by um, the Green Team Serving New Northern New Jersey Community Foundation um, in 2022. And they looked at flooding across six municipalities in Northern New Jersey. Um, this team identified ways that the, the municipalities could reduce the flooding after a significant rainfall event of something like two inches um, in a day from two and a half feet in the street down to about three inches. Um, so that's pretty significant. And that's using green infrastructure, um, making use of rain barrels, rain gardens, and turning one of the um, former wastewater treatment plants into a giant rain garden. 